Like my boy Eminem said in the beginning of Kill Shot, all right, I'm doing this once. I'm telling you how much I charge. Hi, it's Carolyn. If you want to learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes, then I would love for you to join me by hitting subscribe and the bell. So this video, I am giving you the prices of some of my cakes. It is one of the questions that I get asked so much, and it's difficult for me to just give prices just because pricing is very personal and it depends on many different factors. And the reason that I have been holding off on making a video like this is just because I know there's going to be people who say you're not charging enough and there'll be people who think that I'm overcharging. I just want to give you an idea. <laughs> So I have a couple different pricing videos. I will find them and link them below. And in there, I talk about different things to consider when you are pricing your cakes. One of the main things is your location. That's gonna make a big difference in your price. If you live in a, and I hate this word, rural, <laughs> rural, why are there so many R's? <laughs> if you're in a rural area, you may not be able to get as much as someone who lives in New York City. So area is a big factor in your pricing. But I tell people all the time, the price of the cake is going to be determined by the theme or the design, how many servings you need, and the amount of detail. I think people have a misconceived, wait, <laughs> is that the right word? <laughs> is it a preconceived notion? I don't know what I'm trying to say. People think that if you get a four tier cake, it's gonna be more expensive than a two tier cake. And that is not always the case because a four tier cake with little detail can take a lot less time than a two tier cake that has a lot of detail on it. So just know that pricing is fluid, it's not rigid. So I'm constantly shifting my prices. Like when COVID hit, my prices dropped. My minimum went down to 100 and now my minimum is back up to 200 and my prices have increased. Eggs are more expensive, but everything's more expensive. You know, so you have to be fluid and increase and decrease depending on uh, what is going on. Now, before I get into this, I wanna let you know I've been doing this for about 20 years now. When I first started, I was charging like two to four dollars per serving. I had a sheet cake phase and I was only making, like I was probably breaking even or losing money because people weren't paying a lot of money for cakes. And I was like charging 60 to 80 dollars and I was losing money on it or just breaking even and it stinks when you are putting in hours and hours worth of work and you purchase the supplies and the ingredients you want to be compensated for it so as I have gotten better as my skill level has increased my prices have increased all right now let's just get into a couple different examples and I'm gonna keep looking over here <laughs> because I like Rachel Green says prepared unagi and I know I always give that reference but <laughs> I am well prepared for this and I have a bunch of different cakes and prices and everything and I'm gonna keep looking over here to reference that I'm gonna do this between one and four tiers and we're going to do a simple a medium and a detailed cake and I will be putting all the cakes over here. So the first cake is a one tier simple yellow drip cake with real flowers on here. I made this about, I think it was last year and it is simple iced in buttercream. It just has that water ganache yellow drip and that drage border was kind of a pain in the butt, but it is a basic design. She had flowers that she wanted me to put on there and the blueberries once I delivered it. And that is a six inch round cake, feeds like 12 up to 15 maybe, and it was $200. The next cake is this one, and I actually made a video showing you how I make this cake. And this is a six inch round cake again, and feeds like 12 to 15. And there's a little more detail, so it took some more time to make the bow, to cut out that pattern. I had to put the pattern around the border. So that one is $260. And then to show you a detailed, that was a mid, a mid detail cake. To show you a detailed one tier cake, I have this kindergarten graduation cake that I absolutely love. This one was so much fun to make and I love when they give me free reign. When they say do whatever you want because I feel like I can be creative. <laughs> so this one, you can see there's a lot of color in it. There is a lot of different decorations. So the owl. The little happy pencil and the happy apple <laughs> the book like there was a lot of different decorations it took a while to make so that one this was a seven inch instead of a six inch but feeds like 16 to 20 and is 325. 
Now, this is all American dollars. You're gonna have to do conversions because I'm I don't have <laughs> I don't have the time to figure out how many yen that is. <laughs> So uh, just, just I forgot to say, this is all American dollars. All right, let's go to a two-tier, two-tiered simple cake. This textured buttercream cake has a real flower on it. I made it for one of my friends for her wedding. It is a four inch and a six inch cake and it feeds up to 20 people. And this one was $250. So I iced the cakes and then just put the texture on, put the flour on, super simple. For a mid-level two-tier cake, I have this purple ruffle drip cake for a sweet 16. And this is five inch and seven inch, so it feeds 25 to 30 people. So the ombre ruffles take some time. That sweet 16 topper, I have a video showing you how I do that and I can link that below. The silver drip isn't that bad. It's, it, it's not very labor intensive, but it does take more work and I charge $350. And for a really detailed cake, this one was one of my favorites. I made this earlier this year, this adorable little bunny cake. So this has a lot of detail. I had to roll out a bunch of different colors of fondant. Those ruffles on the bottom take a while to do. I rarely do 3D figures. Uh, there's some things I can do, like basic bunnies and elephants and stuff like that I can do. But they take a long time and that little uh, banner on the top. So it's a whole process. And that is five inch, seven inch tiers, like that purple cake I just showed you. So it feeds 25 to 30, and that is $425. All right, let's move on to three tiers. Three tiered, simple design. I have this cute little snowflake cake. So you can see that the tiers are basically plain iced. I did a little bit of texture on the bottom tier. I have a video showing you how I make that texture and I will link it below. And also how I make that big fondant bow. And then the border, the bling border isn't edible. That was really simple to wrap that around. And I just had to make the nameplate and the topper. So it wasn't too long to decorate. So this is four inch, six inch, eight inch tiers. And it feeds 40 to 45 people and is $425. For a mid-level three-tier design, I have this baby shower one. And the middle tier is covered in fondant. The top and bottom is buttercream. And I did an impression mat on all three of them. Wait, I have the pictures over here because <laughs> I know it's over here, but I'm looking. So all three of them have that impression mat in there and there's those dragees. So that does take a little bit of time to do. The fondant name plaques, the crown, and the booties took a little bit of time, but those decorate the, I'm sorry, the border around the bottom. The bling border is not edible. That was super easy to do. So that the tiers are five, seven, and nine, and it feeds 50 to 55 people. And that cake is $575. Now for a really detailed three tier cake, I made this one for a beauty school graduate. And this one, it, it takes a lot of time. There's a lot of colors. First of all, if you get a cake order that has tons of colors, just remember you have to dye all the fondant and roll it out. And sometimes it takes me an hour just to dye fondant and roll it out and get it the right color so I can cut all of, all of the decorations out of it. So keep that in mind. But this one has a bunch of decorations on there, a lot of detail. And this is five inch, seven inch, and the bottom tier is a three layer, nine inch. So it's a little taller. I have a video talking about how I work with different sizes and get different servings out of there. And I will link that below. But this feeds 65 to 70 and is $750. Let's go to a four tiered, simple design. I made this cake before for a wedding and it was simple, just white buttercream. I think she had me cover the top tier in fondant because she wanted to keep it or something like that, but it just has plain purple ribbon wrapped around it. And when I got to the venue, I added the flowers on there. So the tiers are six, eight, 10 and 12 inch, and it feeds 100 to 110 people. And it is $550. Now for a mid level detailed cake, four tiers, I have this baby shower cake. Oh no, it was his first birthday, King Julian. And I actually recorded a video on how I make that King Julian name plaque and I will link that below. So this one wasn't that difficult. The bling borders, again, I just wrapped them around there. They are not edible. I had to do the impression mat with the dragees. The drapes I actually have were a mold and a lot of the, um, the fleur-de-lis and all that were, were molds. So I didn't have to hand carve them or anything. And I made the crown. So this cake was six, eight, 10, and the bottom tier is a three layer, 12 inch cake. It feeds 110 to 120 people. And that is 
And the last four tier cake that I have that is a very detailed cake, I made it a little while ago for one of my friends. She was getting married. And this has a lot of detail. So the ruffles on the bottom, they took forever. The second to the bottom tier is a double barrel. So it's two eight inch cakes on top of each other. And then wrapping it with that fondant and making all the belt loops and the belt holes and painting the rose gold. And then I have those little rose gold lace. Lace takes forever. <laughs> so that factored into the price. And then the skulls on the top. The flowers were pre-made. As you know, I don't love to make me any flowers. So that did keep the price down a little bit. But this was very labor intensive cake. So the size of this is four, six, eight and 10, but the eight inch tier, like I said, is a double barrel cake. So it's essentially a five tier cake, but since that, that eight inch cake is iced into one tier, then it looks like a four tier cake. And that is $950. So with these examples, you can see that sometimes a two tier cake that is a simpler design can cost less than a one tier cake that is more detailed, right? So I really think that the design and the detail is the main factor when I price my cakes. Now, a couple little tips or bits of advice for you. When I am pricing a cake, I usually give options. And like I showed you in this video, I did a simple, a mid detail and an extremely detailed option. Do that when you price your cakes for people. So if somebody wants a you know two tier to feed 25 to 30 bunny rabbit cake you can say i could do a simple design for 200 dollars, or if you want a mid-level design i'll do it for 300 or if you want something really detailed it'll be 400 and i'm just throwing numbers out there i don't know how much i would charge but give people options i feel like people like to choose right if you just say well it'll be 300 dollars, well what if they didn't want to spend that much if, the, if you give a low a medium and a high i don't know i just find that i have success doing it that way and that's what i recommend to you one very important thing i will say is do not reduce your price in order to get the cake order because then you're going to be known as the person just haggle her or him and they will come down in the price if you quote a price and they say i'm sorry you're out of my budget Okay, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I can make the next one for you and move on. There are tons of cakes that need to be made. You can't make all the cakes. Just remember that there are so many people having so many parties and celebrations that there's gonna be someone else who needs a cake from you. So try to resist the urge to just reduce your price just to get the sale. So play around with the pricing. If you feel like you need to increase your prices, add another 25 to $50 to a quote and just see what happens. If you are getting like a nice balance of yes and no, then you probably have your cakes priced right. If everybody is going with you and nobody's turning you down, you might not be charging enough. People might be like, oh, this is great, 50 bucks for a three-tiered cake, I'm going with her. <laughs> you know, or if everyone's saying no, you know that your prices are too high. So I'm con it's constantly fluctuating um, and I'm, it's something that I'm always messing around with, but I need to say this. Once you are able to get compensated for making cakes, you're just so much happier. We've all made those cakes where we undercharge or someone talks us down and we do it. We do a three tier cake for $100 and then we're mad at the end because you just don't feel appreciated. And I have to say, any of these people trying to order cakes from you, trying to talk you down on the price, why don't you go to their job and say, you know what, I want you to work for eight hours today, but I'm only paying you $50 and see what they say. They're not gonna do it either. So it's one of the hardest things to do, but one of the best things you could do for you is to be firm in your price and be confident. Be confident when you quote the price, it's $400. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier said than done and it comes with practice. So I hope this helped you guys out. I just hope this helps you get an idea of what you can charge for your cakes. And like I've also recommended before, when I first started, I called around the local bakeries just with the same cake design to see what they were charging. Uh, there's a different, a couple different ways to find out what you are able to charge in your area. So well, I think that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And you can follow me on social media and check out my website. It's listed in the description below as well. And if you want to stick around, you can watch these two videos next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. 
And remember, it's cake. Have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.